Hello friends, welcome to my video. Today we will talk about the export documentation software. Yes, there is one software, it's very useful in export documentation. Here we have Mr. Van Thompson from Australia. He is the co-founder of Incodoc software. Uh, hi Ben, how are you? Hey Prash, good thank you. Yeah, I am good. Thank you for asking. Now you can introduce yourself. Sure, yeah, thanks for having me Prash. Uh, so my name is Ben from Incodocs. Uh, I have uh, a background in import-export. Uh, I used to run my own trading company. So I am very familiar with the processes involved with importing and exporting products all over the world. So through running my own trading company, uh, we realized there were so many problems with you know, shipping documentation. You know, it's, it's very hard to get it right uh, in the right format. Uh, you know, sometimes it, uh, only Word and Excel sheets can provide the format. So that is why we provided this software for, for small and medium uh, beginner exporters, which allows them to, to easily create all of their, their sales and their shipping documents. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. I have seen your software. It is very user friendly and uh, like making invoice, making performa invoice, making fake English. It is very easy to use. You can explain what is the benefit of Incodoc software? Yeah, sure. So uh, some of the main benefits for Incodocs is, uh, is the time and ease of use. So uh, most of the time in the past, uh, a lot of exporters, they have to mess around with Microsoft Word or Excel spreadsheets to try to create the documents, to try to create the right format. So using Incodocs, it makes it very quick and easy. Uh, so the, the users can log into the cloud software. They can easily create all of the sales documents and all of the shipping documents. So for example, uh, they can create the quotations to their new buyers. They can create the pro forma invoices to their new buyers and sign and stamp the contracts. And then once the goods have been shipped, they can easily convert that invoice into the export document. So they can create all of the commercial invoices and packing lists and declarations and things like that. So we provide very clear, easy to understand templates. It's very easy to complete the information. It saves the contact and the product information to make it very quick. And then from any document, you don't have to retype all of the data all of the time. So you can create your first document and then that will sync the information to all of the other documents very fast. Okay, that's great. That's great. Yeah, you can explain here practically how it's working. So yeah, I will share my screen now and I will give you a brief uh, demo of how it works. This is the Incodocs interface. So when the new exporter comes into Incodocs, we have sections over here for quotations, for pro forma invoices, and also for purchase orders. So this makes it very quick and easy to create the new quotation or create the new pro forma invoice to share to their buyers and, and, and close the deals. Um, after the pro forma invoices, we have the export document section where you can transfer the information into all of the shipping documents that you need to, to ship the goods overseas. So for example, I am in the invoices section here now and I will create a new pro forma invoice. Uh, I have lots of custom templates in my account because all of the templates is very flexible. So the user can uh, edit, edit the templates, they can uh, design the document format to exactly meet their business requirements. Uh, now at the top of the documents, uh, the users can set up their own company branded letterhead. So this helps to give a very professional look to help to uh, confirm more, more deals with new buyers. And it's very simple and easy to use. The, the users will complete the contact information. I will just create a, a test pro forma invoice. Let's say that I am ABC Exports in India and I'm selling to my buyer uh, global imports, for example. I can fill out my Performer invoice numbers and my dates and all of that information on this side. And then our templates have all of the fields required for global trade. So method of dispatch, 
by sea freight type of shipment uh let's say full container load port of loading you know let's say uh mumbai for example and port of discharge anywhere in the world you type the port and it will find it and you can select the ports and then in the middle of the documents you can save all of your product information so that it's very quick and easy to select that so for example if i was selling bar stools i will select my product bar stools and it will pre-fill all of that information into the template so i don't have to retype it i just have to put in the quantity of the product and it has pre-filled the information and I can keep adding more new lines. So if I want to add more products like bar tables, I can also add in that information here. So it's very quick and easy to fill out the documents. Uh, users can add additional charges here for shipping costs or anything like that and then set the INCO term and the currency down the bottom. So uh, let's select, for example, FOB at, at Mumbai. And the currency, we have multi-currency. So the user can select from all of the currencies. And let's just select US dollars, for example. Now, on the other side here, uh, there's lots of useful features to help insert the information fast. So for example, for the bank details, I can save a snippet of information and I can click to insert that information directly into the into the document, so I'm not retyping all of the information. Um, and then at the bottom of the document, we have digital signatures and also digital stamps. So that allows the users to work remotely, right? So users can work from home, they can work from the warehouse, they can work uh, when they're traveling, and I can sign the document, right? So I can type my signature here, can draw a signature, or even upload a signature file. And once I have set up my signature the first time, I just click to insert it into the document and then click Save. So that is the basics of creating one document. It has created the document here on my screen, exactly as we saw it before. I can download the PDF document and send that by email if I need to. Or also, I can also directly send the documents from the system to the customer. Uh, and once I've created a pro forma invoice, I can also add a digital stamp. So I will show you the company stamp seal. I can add that company stamp to confirm the pro forma invoice. On the left, I have already entered my company name and details and it's automatically generated me a stamp, right? So I can insert that stamp, place the stamp onto the document anywhere that I'd like uh, and click save and that stamp will be onto the pro forma invoice. Down the bottom there. So that is the first part in the sales section. Uh, Incodocs helps the users to create the quotation and pro forma invoices to confirm more orders. And then once the goods have been shipped, of course, the exporter must provide the shipping documents, must create all of the commercial invoice and packing lists in this section. So pro from in the invoice section here, uh, I can click convert to export docs and that will automatically create a new folder for the shipping documentation. And these are all of the shipping documents that we provide. We provide many new templates. We provide over 20 templates so that uh, the shippers can create everything that they need. In this example, I will just show you a commercial invoice template uh, and also a packing list. We have many different types of packing lists because packing lists can be done in many different ways. Uh, you can have non-asbestos declarations and, and all sorts of uh, other declarations. So I have chosen my documents and I just give the reference number and what that will do, it instantly converts the information from the pro forma invoice into this export documents folder. 
So we're inside the folder and with all of my templates and all of the information between these templates is automatically synced together. So the user does not have to retype all of the information. So if I go into commercial invoice template, it will show me uh, my commercial invoice with my company letterhead and it has already copied all of this information, right? Of course, with the commercial invoice, I will have to enter the vessel and voyage information and a few things like that, right? So if I enter first voyage, I can enter the date of departures, all types of information, country of origin, we put India, country of final destination, we'll put Australia, right? So, and then on the commercial invoice, notice how it has already pre-filled the product HS code. So, Incodocs templates ensure that the shippers include all of the right information onto the documents so that it is, it is cleared through the logistics and customs clearance process without any problems or delays. And that document is, is finished. I might add any information and then click save and that will generate the commercial invoice document for me like before. As my commercial invoice document is done and when I go back into the folder, all of the information is synced to these documents. So if I go into the packing list template now, all of the information is copied through and in the middle section of the document, uh, it has this template has automatically calculated the net weight, automatically calculated the gross weight and the cubic measurements based off the quantity. So it streamlines all of that data entry, makes it very fast and easy and make sure that the user gets it right. And maybe they can add the kind of number of packages, right? And the document is finished. Now, on top of this, all of these columns are editable and all of these field names are editable, right? So for example, if I did not want to show this field here, I can click to hide the field or to rename the field. So if I don't want it to show on my document, I can design the template as I go. I can insert more columns onto the document if I want to, to have, uh, country of origin or anything like that. I can insert that onto the document and click to rearrange the document. So I am designing the document to meet my business. And then I finish the, the packing list because I have customized the template. Incodocs allows you to save these as a custom template for next time I use it. So it's very uh, helpful to have different types of templates if that's what you need in your business. So that has created the packing list document as we saw it is very quick and easy. And back inside the folder, because Incodocs, it is a team workspace. So you can invite all of your team members into the same workspace. So everybody is working together. Everything is saved in the one place. It makes it very quick and easy to find what you need. Inside these folders, I can upload any external files uh, or documents, right? If, if I have a, a, a copy of the bill of lading or certificate of origin or container loading photos, I can upload all of the files into the one folder so that everything here is stored in one place. And from, from the export doc section, I will see all of my list of folders which is all of my current shipments. So that is, everything is searchable. So it makes it very quick and easy. If I want to search by reference number, I quickly find the, the thing, shipment that I need and everything uh, is, is quick to find. Yes, that's great. And it's a very easy to use. It's like you, you can say user friendly. We have, uh, we have put a lot of effort to, to make it very easy to use for, for uh, shippers and exporters all over the world. Okay, and what about the pricing? Yeah, so we we have a, a starter free plan. So we 
Incodocs is designed for small and medium beginner businesses. So we have a free plan, which you can get started at our website straight away. And that includes up to 10 documents every month. So you can use the free plan to create 10 documents. If you go above that, we have the subscription plans, uh, which starts from 18 US dollars per month. Uh, the, the annual prices is, is, is discounted, is 25% cheaper. So, yeah, we have designed this for small and medium enterprise to be affordable. Yeah, that's great. So anyone wanted to sign up, uh, go to go to the link below this video in my YouTube channel. There in description, I, I have to put the link. You can click on link and you can log in in this uh, Incodoc software. So we'll get the link over there and uh, you can use freely up to 10 document. Uh, this Incodoc like software is giving a free. Then they have subscription plan so you can use and you can make your export in invoice in this software and you can save your time for export so you can use this software for your export documentation thank you for your explanation it is very user friendly software so exporter can use and save his time and can do more and more exports uh, mr ban thank you for your valuable time thank you Thank you, Parash. It's my pleasure. You are welcome. And anyone wanted to use this software, uh, I have put link in the description. Go there, click and sign up. Let's go global together. Best of luck. Thank you. Thank you, Ben, for joining me. Thank you. Thank you, Parash. Thank you for watching this video. Kya aap step by step practically export import sikhna chate ho? Then join advanced level export import practical training everything about export import jiske andar 100% export import sikhane ka guarantee hai with lifetime support to register call now let's go global together thank you